Okay, let's do another example. Example 3.4. Here the values are given in terms of a sine and cosine. So the first thing we need to do is convert them into exponential form by using the Euler equation. So just following this formula, we convert the sine function, 2 times cosine, cosine formula, and similarly cos 2 omega t plus pi by 4, so this. Then <clears throat> we just open it up, everything. And now we collect the like terms. So same terms, j omega t here and j omega t here collected together. E minus j omega t, E minus j omega t collected here. And E j pi by 4, uh, sorry, E j 2 omega naught t alone, so right here. And minus E minus j, omega, j 2 omega naught t, so we write it here. So these are the four terms uh, that we have now uh, and our DC value 1. Now keeping this formula in view, the summation uh, form, we know that anything that is multiplied with EJ omega naught t that is a, a k. a k is the coefficient so from here this thing is the coefficient for a1 because k is 1 here this k is 1 so this is for a1 here k is minus 1 so this is for a minus 1 here k is 2 so this is for a2 and this one is for a minus 2 and this one is for a0 because if you put k is equal to 0, this becomes 1 and this becomes a0. So no uh, e omega term. But this one is alone without any e omega terms. So this is equal to a0. Okay, so when k is 0, a0 is equal to 1. When k is 1, a1 is this term and before writing the other term or the solving this one uh, we got to remember this that 1 over j is equal to minus j and i have explained how it is so you can just have a look at it so we take j terms up so it becomes 1 minus 1 over 2j 1 over j becomes minus j and similarly, a minus 1 term, j take up. Okay, so this was the uh, original equation. Now we need to find a2. So a2 with j2. So this is the term, which is for a2. Now we need to solve this further. We take help of the Euler formula, Ej theta is cos theta plus j sin theta. So Ej pi by 4, cos pi by 4 plus j sin pi by 4 and putting the values and so we get under root 2 divided by 2, 1 plus j. So half multiply by this term and this is equal to under root 2 over 4. 1 plus j. So this is for a2. Similarly, we can write for a minus 2. It will be under root 2 over 4, 1 minus j. And for all other values of k uh, greater than 2, uh, the value of the uh, amplitude will be zero because there is no signal present there. So we see the plot in the next slide. Now in the plot we in this case we'll plot both magnitude and phase angle. 
So let's calculate uh, the magnitude. This was the value for uh, A1. So if you just use your calculator, and this is in rectangular form, convert into polar form. So this becomes the magnitude and this is phase angle. Now this phase angle is in degrees, so we need to convert it into pi because the plot given in the book is in pi. So angle divided by 180 will make it in radians multiplied by pi. So the angle becomes point minus uh, point 0.147 pi. Similarly, uh, this one, same, just the sign will change from negative to positive. Also for A2, we're following the same technique. This one's magnitude is 1.414, angle 45. And then multiplying, we get 0.5, angle 45. Angle 45 can be converted same way, divided by 180. So it will become pi by 4, 180 and multiply by pi. So pi by 4. And similarly for A minus 2. So now we have got the magnitude. So we plot the magnitudes at A0, the value was 1. Then at A1 and A minus 1, the value is 1.11, we calculated here. And then at A minus 2 and A plus 2, the value is 0.5, calculated here. And at all other places, it is 0. So this is the uh, amplitude plot. Now let's plot the phase. At 0, it was a DC value, so no phase angle. At 1, the phase angle is at A1, it is minus 0.17. So at 1, it is minus 0.147 pi. And at A minus 1, it is plus 0.147 pi. So minus 1, it is plus 1. 0.147 pi. Similarly, at A2, it is pi by 4. So at A2, pi by 4. And at A minus 2, it is minus pi by 4. So this is the phase angle plot. Okay.